of House of Miracle Ministries, popularly known as HOM, at the headquarters in Medina State, Accra, Ghana. When God is in love, God is on your side. Releasing God's power in His Word, characterized by accurate prophetic utterances with healings, signs and wonders, and undeniable testimonies. Get ready to be blessed. Some of you, you prayed and God gave you a particular name to name your business. Success Academy. Success this. But you don't see success. So you can have a vision, but there's no money. So it cannot come to pass. Anointed end time prophetic man of God, Samson Omoateng. Poverty can bury destiny. You have a destiny, but poverty can destroy you, can kill you before your time. Six, poverty is to be converted into dustbin. Poverty, you, it, it, it will make you a useless person. Because in our culture, when there, there are about five people in a family, five boys in the family, and if by mistake, or unfortunately, or fortunately, the last born becomes prosperous, and very rich, and now all the others are poor. When it comes to meeting, and everybody is talking, the moment you stand up and you are not rich, they will tell you, shut up, keep quiet. Listen to what the boy is saying. Because he's rich and he's a small boy, everybody listening to this. Listen, I want you to hate poverty. That's why I'm sharing all this thing with you. Hate it with passion. It's no good. It's a curse. Because the boy, the young boy, is very rich, everybody will listen to him. Woe unto you if you have good ideas, but still you are poor and you start trying to bring ideas. Oh, let's bury him like this. Let's do this. They'll tell you, shut up. Shut up. What do you have? Shut up. What do you have? Shut up. It's a reproach. It's a disgrace. Why should we serve God and still go through poverty? I don't believe it. The reason why I'm teaching about this is I'm a prophet. He said, believe in God and you shall be established. Believe in the prophet and you shall see what? Prosperity. So prosperity, if it's in Ghana, I will be in the, in the ministry of prosperity. They will create a ministry called ministry, the way we have ministry of finance, ministry of defense. Here in the kingdom, I, will, I work and operate in the ministry of prosperity. Because it's only prophets who can better your life, I'm telling you. It's only prophets of God who can bring the prosperity you need. Believe in God, you go to heaven, you'll be established. But believe in the prophet and you see who want to see prosperity these days? I prophesy. Hey. Receive prosperity right now. Shall I receive it ten times? I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Shall I receive my prosperity ten times? I receive my prosperity. Hallelujah. Amen. Clap your hands in the name of the Lord. Somebody said, anointing without money is annoyance. No, it's true. If you're anointed <laughs> and still you don't have money, you'll be annoyed. You start developing certain strange, strange sicknesses. It's not sickness, it's poverty. Next. Poverty can make an elderly man call a small boy uncle, uncle, uncle. Small boy, because you have money. Go to your village now. Everybody say, oh, uncle. But they are older than you. They are older than you. They will force you. They will they even call you, oh, grandfather, grandpapa. There are certain people, they call them, they are, they, are, they, they are old people in their family. They call them papa, papa, papa. It's because they are rich. Let them be poor now. They say, hey, you foolish boy. Poverty is not good. 
An old, old man, you sell your dignity. You sell your birthright. Go and ask Esau, he will tell you. Poverty will make everything you need delay. Whatever you need. Everything, some of you, everything has delayed. It's not that you don't want to get it. But because you don't have money, you cannot do it. Poverty. Next. Poverty is noisy. Poverty. It will make, let's go to places where there are a lot of poor people. There's always noise. Go to where rich people are staying. Quiet. Because the moment you shout, somebody go, keep quiet. I'm sleeping, I'm resting. I pray for somebody sitting here. Jesus. I pray for somebody who is watching me. Jesus. I deliver you from poverty. So I disconnect myself from poverty three times. I disconnect myself from poverty. I disconnect myself from poverty. I disconnect myself from poverty. Next, poverty make people misbehave. They will create a nice gutter here across the street. Poverty will make them put certain things inside. Government have constructed nice gutters. You ask yourself, what is wrong with us? The gutter is not supposed to have the garbage or the rubbish. But go watch and see. Poverty. But go to where the environment where rich people are staying. They respect the gutter. There are certain sickness is because of poverty that the sickness comes. You know, even Ebola, according to research, is because of poverty. Because the, that place... It develops a lot of, you know, bacteria and other things. So Ebola started. I pray for you. I disconnect you from poverty. Amen. You know, as you are disconnecting yourself from poverty, you are disconnecting yourself from Laviathan. It's a wicked spirit. It will pierce your hand and render you useless. Poverty is destructive. It can destroy you. Poverty will make you go and sleep with somebody's husband. Poverty will let you do certain things will let you become a prostitute. Poverty can make you blaspheme because you don't have money, and somebody gives you money now, and you start saying, "Ah, pa." He said, "Hey, why are You are my God. If not because of you, oh, so you start celebrating the person as a god because of poverty. Poverty is an empty bag that cannot stand upright. Watch this." I want somebody to give me a bag. You see it? The way it's standing. But this one is empty bag. Have you seen it? So poverty, when there's no money, your bag will fall. This one, the way it's standing, more cash. Are you seeing it? This year, your pocket will be full. I said this year, you're going to stand tall. The one who shouted a minute to come to pass. You see it? You see poverty? Poverty is an empty bag. Watch this. Watch this. Empty bag that cannot stand upright. To the bag, Look at the Louis Vuitton bag. More cash. It's standing upright. More cash. I got my point. This year. Your pocket will be full too much. Amen. That you'll be at the top to be the topic in time. I receive it. The one who shouted amen. 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 Maybe you don't understand the revelation I'm saying. Prosperity will let you stand out. Jesus. When you are prospered, you can do anything. Amen. Poverty can make you don't have a balanced diet. Is it true? Poverty will let people run away from you. Oh, is it true? Poverty is very dangerous. Poverty is very dangerous. Poverty will not let you to become a blessing to someone. Because when you become a blessing to someone, the person will always pray for you. Is it true? Like for example, when I give money to you, I give money, I give my spread money. When you go to your bedroom, you say, oh, God bless prophet. Bless this man. But you, nobody's praying for you. Look at your life. Because poverty it's a dangerous spirit. Poverty will make you envious. When you see people are very envious, they are poor. Rich people don't envy any, anyone. Oh, I'm telling you. And it will lead me to the next one. Poverty will make you gossip. Poverty, it will make you gossip. I'm telling you. 
When you see places that there's a lot of gossip, it's because of poverty mentality. Because you cannot celebrate each other. You're always talking against the person who is rich. Do you know that even here, under this one, there are certain people, they cannot share testimony because of poor environment. Oh, I'm telling you. Some people, God can give them big breakthrough. But because the environment is, everybody is poor, they are afraid that when I say that, oh, God has given money, after church, everybody will go to the car. Yes, you see, cannabis. Poverty. Poverty makes extreme sensitive. That's it. They are very sensitive. It will make you to say, you start acting funny. Poverty. It will let you talk unnecessarily. Because it's because of poverty. Because if you are busy working, you don't think about anybody. The reason why people don't even dress to their village is because of poverty. Is it true? You are afraid. Because the moment you get to your, your, your village, dress like this, the way I've dressed nice like this, the moment you enter the entrance of the village, hey, what happened? Hey, hey, within five minutes, everybody will spread the gospel. Hey, yeah, boga naba, boga. So when you see people talking, it's because of poverty mentality. Leave them and focus on your assignment. Because today, it's war against poverty. Poverty poverty will destroy a group in the church. It's true. Poverty can destroy a group in the church. Now, they will tell every group that, you know, every group is buying one air condition for the church. You will see somebody will come, hey, number one group has an air conditioner. Because you don't have it, you will not even keep quiet. They will destroy and, you know, will let others who would like to even pay to stop. Hey, now me, we're joining group and I say, hey, me better condition. He say, I'm sorry, they'll be here to talk. Who say condition, bo, we, eh, you're fair. And you're there. Conditions for God's blessing. These are conditions you must know. Number one, to get healed, you need faith. Shall faith. Number two, to have salvation, you need what? Repentance. These are conditions. If you don't follow the conditions, you can never be saved. Number three, to have protection, you need obedience. You must obey. Number four, to have anointing, you have to be a clean vessel. You must not be a thief to be anointed. You cannot be a prostitute and be anointed. Let's continue. Five. To have prosperity, you need to be a giver. Sound a giver. So prosperity, the condition for you to prosper is to be a giver. Some of you, you don't give. The last one, tight. I spoke about tight. When you pay tight, you stop the devourer. Some of you, the reason why your job is always somersaulting. Today is good. Tomorrow is not good. Tomorrow is good. It's because you don't pay your tight. Somebody say, I want to have more money before I can pay tight. You are not serious. Jesus said, give, take all the 90% and give me only 10%. 10% po unt mi famanyame. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 1. For this Melchizedek, king of God, Salem, priest of the most high, who met Abraham. Abraham is your father. Look at what happened. Returning from the slaughter of the kings and bless him. Continue. Verse 2. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. Not some. A tenth part of what? All. All. You must give. He met Mekisalek and said, do you know what? God has blessed me. I will give you a tithe of all. Some of you, when you buy a car, pay tithe on the car. I'm telling you. Some of you must give. Give, give, give. Now, why we are poor in church? Because we are stingy. Number two is because of spiritual immaturity. If you must be rich, listen to me, you must be holy. That's the first one. Number two, you must have a broken heart. When you see people who are arrogant, pride, what what they are saying, they're not. Watch them. Prof, why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? At times, they wear obesity trans. It's just so mushy. You know that poverty will not let you celebrate your neighbor. Oh, is it true? Like the way you are wearing your suit, 
Use your seat, it's nice. Lawyer, stand up and let me see. It's nice, is it true? Oh, is it true? But do you know that poverty will not let you celebrate him? Maobi Medresi Kama. No, I'm not church. And now, I'm not office. Word. Hey, sister, tell us, tell us why? Tell us, uh, because a person has dressed more than you, you don't want to celebrate. Man, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for somebody close to you. Stand up. I want to pray for somebody who is very close to you. The name of the person is Victor. Victor. Who is Victor to you? Victor. Who? Senior brother. Your senior brother. Yes. Where is he now? In Liberia. They have caged him that he can never come to Ghana. He will die there. Because it's a long time he went to Liberia. Is it true? Yes. Victor Ajaku. Ajitetayua. How long has he been in Liberia? About 40, 41. About 41 years. 40 and he's still there. Yes. They have caged him. He cannot come out. Man, come. Your name is on a Malam's altar. Somebody, yes, come. I see a name called Abdul Hakim. You, come. Abdul Hakim. Abdul Hakim. A man took, a lady gave your picture to this Abdul Hakim. You might not know, but I see it that this man is like the, 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 and the lady had a relationship like that. They were doing something. So the, the man went there and, and the man said, can you bring anything from this man so we can destroy him? That's why most of you are working, but you don't understand yourself. What you are going through, you yourself, you don't understand. Is it true? It's true. But look, this is what the lady did. He took a picture and forwarded the picture to this man. Because what I'm saying, because still I see that they are fighting you. Because they, they, the woman, they, they want to frustrate your progress. But I speak as a prophet of God. Amen. A lady, your ex, your ex-wife, your ex, had a friend, like a boyfriend, who was a Muslim. He uses a Muslim name. That is true. Do you remember the name but I, the name is Abdul Hakim. The name of the lady is Veronica. Okay, it's true. The name of the lady is Veronica. The name of the man is Abdul Hakim. And I see your picture there. I asked God, why is this man suffering? He said, look at what they are doing every day. Every time. The lady has left you, but they want to still frustrate you because she is still hurt. It's not your fault, it was her fault. Because when she left to Israel, something happened. Yeah. Shut your hand towards me. Why is the five cities? Uma will be five cities. Come. Obi the five cities, Atom, five Ghana cities, five Ghana cities. Uma will be five cities some time ago, a man. Or a tuntum take tall. Then, now, only five cities in the man, no. The same day, na numero, no. Then, you see it. Only six can man, na nadjo, no. Then, you see it. Pacho, and I'm a scan of man, no. And I'm a man, no. And i me da pe na me hu say spirit be wure me mu say ana jo ni nyina man ti mi akata me nim me bom pa sa ade echi onye onye nipa he was sent from a village in aflao to come and destroy you it's from your own mother's family this woman gave five Ghana cities to this man a tiktok dark man i see this man this man i see that spiritually the top from the waist to the top is like a crocodile with horns. And as I'm talking right now, spiritually, there's a spiritual lizard moving inside you. Are they in the Like, is it Bacho, true? Bacho, eh? Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Eh fa na ufri, ufri fa. Mi pa cho mi ma, mi ma mi fri e to pale me. Mi papa fri an fo ega. No, no, no. Eh fa na fa takribi. Takrabi. Takrabi, mi pa cho e ho na e wo me. Where the problem is coming from is where I'm showing you. That takrabi where you were born. Because when they gave birth to you, where they buried the umbilical cord, I saw a dog swallowed it. And it was not a common dog. So they don't want to do you no, know, the whole thing is they will not kill you. You will not die now. But they will make sure that you can never be happy. When you are there, say you know, you will be reducing weight. Because the thing is there, but tonight, this morning, just raise your hands like this. I prophesy, just watch everybody, just, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Mm. This dog, this lizard inside your body. Jesus. Your time is up. Jesus. Out. Jesus. Out. Jesus. Out. Jesus. Out. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now I command you to leave. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Mm. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give it. Stretch your hands towards me. Now I prophesy this year will be a good year. Amen. I see promotion coming. Amen. Receive it. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> Lady, the offering you just put there, this is what God is telling me. I see your passport and I see your name in the passport and I see your picture on the other side and I see that the passport has been dry. But all of a sudden, I saw two major visas. I saw a, a singing visa. Number two, a singing visa means European visa. And I saw also a UK visa. And I was watching and I saw the, the passport number. I saw G0 Mahandiliba. And I see 44 four, and I see 391. 391 at the end. G O, bring your passport. Oh. That's why when you come to church, you must sacrifice. The moment you drop it, read it for me. Let somebody read for me. Somebody take the take, take it. It's what? Passport number. You don't know where it is. But I know where it is, uh, sir. Uh -huh. Passport number G O seven four four three nine one. are going to get singing visa not only singing visa but also UK visa now someone is asking the time I saw in the passport and I saw where the visas were and I saw 5th of April lady God is going to bless you Amen. whatever embargo because somebody cares her for, and you know the person was her own relative her my ma grandmother. Yes. She cursed her. What what did she say? Huh? Say it. Me ye yet. I'm impressed. Give me the passport. Today, I drop this passport on this altar. I drop it on the altar. Come and turn it for me. Give it to me. I drop it on the altar. May your visa. Name of Jesus. I want to see by hands those who need miracles. I prophesy. On Monday morning. I said on Monday morning. Jesus. May God give you a miracle. I receive. I said, may God give you a miracle. I receive. Last one, may God give you a miracle. I receive. Now lift your voice and say, my future is bright. My future is bright. I will get there. I will get there. Make a step. I will get there. I will get there. Last one, I will get there. I will get there. No scream. Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed yourself and your life will never remain the same. Hallelujah. The word of God is powerful, you know, and I know that the word of God is going to work your miracles for you. 
if you are sick in any part of your body, you are going through a lot of problems, just stretch your hands towards the screen and let me pray with you. Father, I pray for all my viewers. I dip them in the blood of Jesus. I plead your blood to save them and to God sanctify them. Whatever they are going through, God, I disconnect them from every negative chain that Satan might have used to connect them to himself. I disconnect that chain in the name of Jesus. Now I release your breakthrough. I release your finances. I release your healing in Jesus' might name I pray hallelujah hallelujah I can I can I can hear freedom I can hear healing and I can hear prosperity coming into a, the life of my viewer hallelujah praise God next time same time same station don't change the channel it's an hour of miracle with prophet Samson I'm wanting your life will never remain the same hallelujah if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior just pray with me and repeat after me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Let your mercy speak for me. I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord, the King of Kings. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me for all my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Father, Holy Spirit, take control over my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you rightly pray this prayer, as simple as it is, I know your name is in the book of life. Get a Bible-believing church and I know God is going to bless you. You can still go to our website, my partner, and your life will never remain the same. As you register, I'm going to get you free newsletters, free gifts of prophetic mantles, my books, and you know, it will help you for the rest of your life. Hallelujah. Always remember that you are too needed to be wasted. Amen. A gift of $59 will enable us to reach the nations with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Ensure you get the latest information of the ministry's itineraries by registering your contacts at www.samsonamuatang.org, where you will also get all other materials, DVDs, audio CDs, healing and prosperity mantles, and other literacy. Remember, you are too needed to be wasted. Thank you for watching the telecast of House of Miracle Ministries with Samson Amuatang. We hope this program has been a blessing to you. For prayers, one-to-one -one prophetic counseling or information, call Ghana plus 233-026-175-4599 or plus 233-024483-3687 or London UK line plus 4477. 4700508. Join us as our headquarters meeting day, Sunday first service, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and second service at 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Friday's fire night at 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Be sure to join HOM in your nearest city, London, UK, Berlin, Germany, Holland, Amsterdam, USA, South Africa, Brockenhurst, China, Guanazo, Belgium, Brussels, Aquagana, and look for further new branches as to build a generation of spiritual worshippers across the globe. Be sure to join us in our next telecast.